most hated, hated opinions. Back with some more of this industry politics. Um, this is a little bit different. Uh, usually we cover like celebrity people, people with a name. Not to say these people don't count because they don't have a name, but um, I don't know if people are familiar with the the dead rappers from Detroit. Supposedly some rappers, Detroit rappers, were supposedly going to a show, and I guess the show got canceled. So I don't know if they ever made it to the show or not, but they went missing. They were scheduled for a show. They went missing, and they ended up, the bodies ended up being found in a, an apartment building. So, hold on. Let's Fox 2 that. sources have confirmed the bodies of three missing rap artists have been found. The rappers went missing since a concert in Detroit they were supposed to play got canceled nearly two weeks ago. Armani Kelly, 38. Montoya Gibbons, 31, and Dante Wicker, 31, are rappers who were slated to perform at Lounge 31 on Seven Mile near Gratiot on January 21st, but that event was canceled. Fox 2 sources. All right, so basically, uh, police believe they have located the bodies of three Michigan rappers who have been missing for nearly two weeks. Armani Kelly, Dante Wicker, and... Montoya Givens, who were supposed to perform January 21st at Lounge 31 on Detroit's east side. However, according to police, the event was abruptly canceled due to an equipment problem. According to Michigan State Police, three bodies were found in a, at an apartment complex on Thursday, but they have not confirmed the identities. Forensic scientists from the MSP labs are currently making their way into the building and are beginning to gather evidence. Officials with the Michigan State Police Second District tweeted the building is in very poor condition and rat infested, which is slowing, which is slowing progress. So it sounded like a bando. Sound like they was found in a bando. But as you can see, they not giving out a cause of death. They not saying if they was shot, stabbed, a uh, drug overdose carbon monoxide poisoning they not telling us nothing they just saying that they was missing for two weeks they were supposed to be at the concert concert got canceled due to equipment problem and the bodies got found two weeks later in basically what is a bando now the update on that story is one person has been brought in for questioning in connection with the ongoing investigation into the death of three rappers who went missing last month. So with a person being brought in for questioning, I think we could take off some of those um, things off the list. We could scratch off carbon monoxide poisoning. We could scratch off like a uh, drug overdose and we could go more towards the stabbing or shooting. Like to, to make it make sense if a person's getting brought in for questioning, then it would be like, okay, somebody, they were killed and not just accidentally died. There's a difference, like, even though everybody knows there's a difference between accidental deaths and murder. It sounds like um, if they bring in a person in that these three were murdered. Now, if they were murdered, it leads you to, to question, how do you murder three people and get away with it? For this long, for, for what, for two weeks, they said, or a month? They said missing last month, so that's about, it depends on the timeline. I don't know when it happened, but they saying it happened last, this is the update saying that it happened last month. So, if they, they were murdered, that means they were murdered either that night, or they were held at that bando and then murdered dead. Either way... It sounds like it was clean. Like, I don't know. I don't want to speculate as to why they was murdered if, oh, they owed somebody money or niggas ain't like them or they was about to perform and niggas tried to extort them and they wasn't going. So they got them up out of there. Like, the why is endless. Nobody won't ever know the why. I'm just questioning how. How do you, how does one person kill three people? And, and get away with it, like, and nobody knows about it. Like, I, I understand it makes sense. 
that one person, if you're going to do something and get away with it, you should do it by yourself. But my question is, how did he get them from the venue to the bando, kill all three of them, and got away with it for at least a month? Like, that's that's rare to me. That I don't hear that, that happening. Like, you got three. One person got three rappers to go to the bando and then killed them at the bando and then been basically got been getting away with it for like a month. It don't make no sense to me. It I don't know. I don't, like I said, I want to speculate because in my mind, I'm like, how the fuck would y'all even get? Why the fuck was y'all even in the bando in the first place? Like, like that's questions. Like niggas don't go to bandos unless they selling work, buying work, or they killing some shit. You feel me? So what was y'all three did going there for? Was y'all going to buy some work? Was y'all going to sell some work? Or was it like, did y'all get forced there to get killed there? Because I doubt y'all was the one going to kill some shit. Y'all look like y'all was going for a show. So, I, I don't know, man. The, the whole situation, it sounds like there's way more questions than answers. The more... The more updates you get, the more questions you got. So I guess we're just going to leave it there. And then when we get an update, we'll just double back on it. And I'll give y'all the update that come with it. But for right now, we're just going to leave that bitch right there. Most hated, hated the pains. I'm out this bitch.